Hey everyone, it's your Admiral here and welcome back to the Ark. And today I've got Wombat with me and actually I completely ruined the surprise because <laughs> you can see what's happening behind us. Guys, look at the base. Doesn't it look epic? Wombat, what have you done? What do you mean, I, what did I do? I feel like you need to explain what magic you worked here because it is amazing. Well, you know, it was, it was no big deal. It was just... <laughs> I had 10 or no. 15 spare minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, he basically spent, I don't even know, like maybe a day doing this. And I'm an astounded. Yeah, pretty much an entire day. I'm astounded that you managed to do this much. And like, you've made it look, I think, maybe like 50 million times better than it did originally. Yeah, that's so, what I do. Yeah, <laughs> I was like super <laughs> impressed. And actually, I kind of really wish that I'd recorded my initial reaction. Remember when you showed me the first time? Because uh -huh. I feel like I was just so blown away by it that I like cursed and stuff. You were speechless. You yeah. Were speechless. Yeah. There yep. was like bad language and stuff because it was just so <laughs> epic, you know? It was pretty <laughs> so, amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so Wombat, do you want to like maybe help me do a little tour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me show you around. Um, did you show everyone your, your, your little crib here? Mm -hmm. So this is the inside. It looks kind of similar to what it did before. However, mm -hmm. you guys, look at this. <gasps> Isn't it epic? Like, I I was just, like, so blown away. I think this was my favorite part when you showed me, you know? It's amazing. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, the advanced draft stuff is all super cheap to make. It's mm -hmm. not hard at all. It's, like, not grindy. So you can get tons of, like, cool little accents, pianos and chandeliers and mm -hmm. stuff. And it's just really easy to do, to be honest. But it just um, looks so beautiful, though. It does look tons it better really, yeah, than, like, looks, original art stuff. It looks stuff. amazing. And I have my own fireplace. And then you knew that I played the piano IRL. And then we have a piano, even though I can't actually play it in ARC. But, you know, it's... it's you the, can store stuff in it. Yeah, I can put... <laughs> I can hide stuff in my piano. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so it just looks really beautiful. I love what he's done with the roof. It just looks really unusual. And there's a lot of texture going on, which I think is really, really cool. It looks pretty neat. Not mm -hmm. going to lie. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. amazing. It was just kind of um yeah. just kind of a little place. I just kind of fixed it up for you a little bit, dressed mm -hmm. it up. And yep. then um did you show everyone like how we get down to the dino pin now? <laughs> no, no. And here's the okay. thing. You see, I thought it ended here. Like, you know, I legit thought that it ended here. And then I turned around and I saw all this and I was like, What? What have <laughs> yeah, you it's done? Pretty amazing. So let's it, go show them the dino pen first. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. we'll just kind of do this on the way. So mm -hmm. I made a little workshop mm -hmm. um, that's got all our crafting stuff in it. Yep. So it it, we've got neat. the workstations, the ship workstation, a mm -hmm. table, a grill. This giant chimney is a forge. There's mm -hmm. just all sorts of cool stuff going on. Yeah. And then, so like this was originally just like a walkway. This was just how you got down from here to go down to the dino pen, but it was mm -hmm. kind of a big area. So I was like, I'm just going to make a building out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I did. And then you yeah. come on down the spiraling stairs. But I love that though. I love how the staircase isn't just like a straight staircase. It's like a winding. like Yeah, it's really a winding cool staircase for with, sure. Which looks amazing. It and does look amazing. We have easy access to our dinos, which just means that I just feel like they're all safe, you know? You can just come down oh, yeah, here sure. <laughs> at any time. And he's just like, honestly, it just blew me away. I just think this is awesome, Wombat. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm super excited about it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's go back upstairs. Yeah. Um, not really much has changed here. Just kind of little stuff. Mm-hmm. But it looks epic now. Of course it does. <laughs> so we're going to come up here and then we need to go. Wait, how is it? Oh, yeah. You need to come back up here and then no, no, we no, go no, into. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. Wait. Where'd you go? Did I you, do it wrong? You're getting all lost. <laughs> Got to show off the elevator. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have an elevator now, which I actually which didn't is... realize until I flew it off to the side of the building. And then I was like, what is this? <laughs> it's um, advanced draft stuff and it's super cheap to make. It requires yeah. no gasoline and bam, you got an elevator, which takes you up to my bedroom, which is <laughs> the most freaking amazing building ever yeah, in art. I have to agree. I'm super jealous of it by your bedroom. Let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. Are you blown away? Yeah. It's I pretty was. amazing. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> so yeah, T-Bunny looks... actually, T-Bunny helped yeah. a lot with this part. She did all the staircases and the mm -hmm. platform and stuff like that. I just kind of yeah. did some of the the decorating and all that good stuff. But um, it was it was a lot of fun. It yeah. was a lot of building, but mm -hmm. 
tons of fun. It looks amazing. Like I'm so jealous of this. Like you have no idea. Like part of me is like it looks amazing. Part of me is like I just want to put C4 everywhere and blow the whole place up. <laughs> oh, if you do that, <laughs> I'll cry. So don't do that. Yeah, so it looks awesome. Like it's just Of course it does. Probably the best thing I think I've ever seen anyone build an arc. So Well, yeah. Okay, let's go on upstairs here mm -hmm. and check out the um the flyers area. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I, I, Wombat. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's go. You couldn't be more obvious if you tried. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my edge. So you get yeah. up here, and this is kind of where we're going to keep all the birds. Mm -hmm. um, we've got giant hatch frames so that you can kind of fly in from the top. Mm -hmm. Two doorways over here so you can fly in from the side. We need to put a feeding trough up here also yeah. before I forget and leave yeah. something up here and it dies. But that we're so be high cool. up here though. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, we're, we're up there. Oh, wow. This yeah, is don't so fall off. epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I feel like we need ledges or something up here so we can like, you there's, know. There's a little balcony over here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that you can kind of come out and look around stuff. And yeah. I wonder if you could jump off here into the water. Can you? Are you going to try one day? I, I don't think you like can... You don't think I can make it? I don't know if you can jump over these like that close. I think you need to have like a running leap <laughs> to do that. Oh, be careful. Wee. Don't kill our monkey. No, you can totally do it. Oh, you did? You survived? Oh, yeah. Of course I did. <laughs> did I survive? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Yeah. So yep. like all this epicness happened in like the space of a day. So I kind of mm -hmm. logged in and I was like, what in the world has happened to our base? Who has yeah, taken so over? <laughs> <laughs> the vanilla server was down. Um, mm -hmm. We had some issues. So I couldn't get on there and play. And I had a whole day mm -hmm. uh, to do nothing. And <laughs> I just played ARC all day. And yeah. I did a lot of building. It's just, it's incredible. And in fact, I feel like it's more than I could have ever achieved on my own. So I agree. I yeah. agree. <laughs> you don't have yep. to be so blunt about it. Well, I'm just being honest with you. you know? <laughs> but yeah, so it is pretty epic. So Of yeah. course it is. Wombat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, you are getting worse and worse at this. Like, I feel like you're becoming an old person, you know? Like, you're losing your yeah, edge. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm losing my edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's just old age setting in. <laughs> Almost 30, you know, so... <laughs> Let's give the peeps an aerial view. I think oh. it looks super duper cool. Yeah, and um, I really wanted to show everyone the dragon head, which I actually didn't realize until way later. I was just like, Wombat, you're so over the top. Like, like, <laughs> like why do you need this dragon head? I couldn't head? resist. <laughs> it's part of the advanced draft mod. I think it's yeah. made to go on the front of ships. Yeah. But um, it's pretty cheap to make, and I couldn't resist making it. So I did. Yeah, it looks pretty epic. And you know what's really, really weird about this is the fact that you live up here, and I live down here. So it's kind of like you're the king, and I'm like one of the peasants, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're the peasant. That's what you went for, isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> of course yeah. I have to have the coolest house on the block. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just, it's very pretty. Um, it's very beautiful, and I'm extremely impressed. So, yeah, so. Yeah, I do that sometimes. <laughs> just, uh, no, but T-Bunny helped a lot. Um, yeah. She helped me do a lot of the, the more difficult structure placing. I mm -hmm. did a lot of the pillars and, you know, building the shape of the building. And then mm -hmm. we would kind of go in together and decorate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks but it awesome. was, um It was fun. We had a good time with it. Mm -hmm. So well but... done. So I'm really excited to see what you're going to do with it now, you know? Oh, I'm I don't sure... even know. I'm sure this is not the final form, <laughs> so. No, no, yeah. guaranteed. It's going to change a whole lot. I feel like we're just going to have to build on all of these rocks now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to connect so... everything up. I think it would be so awesome. Yeah. Oh, and look at all this we have to build, too. Over on that oh, side? Gotta... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> We've got so much, so much space to work with, actually. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's going to be amazing when we get it finished. So it's going to be, really fun... glad... be a fun series. Yeah, yeah. I'm super happy that we decided to stay here in Stonehenge, you know, because mm -hmm. this was kind of a dream of mine to kind of build little buildings on top and connect them all up. But I never thought that I would be able to accomplish that on my own. But now I don't think you can. <laughs> I've got two little workers for me, so they're just going to do all the building. So I'm just going to sit back and relax, you know. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang it. Also, I, was so, I, I would so have got, got you in to... this bear trap. 
Oh no, I wanted to push you onto the bear trap, but it <laughs> failed. It failed. <laughs> um, yeah, so good. Why are you punching me? Why you do that? <laughs> did I knock you out? Yeah. Ah. You did. But I totally let you, though, so that's, that wasn't a fair fight at all. I feel like you didn't let me. Mm -mm, no, I, I just, I totally let you, so, yeah. No, no, yeah, I had I you did. cornered. Mm -mm. Couldn't do anything about it. Mm -mm. You know? What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost had you. <laughs> oh, my okay. goodness. All right, you guys, so what we've actually decided to do today is mate two of these prime dodos just because T-Bunny's prime dodo died in the stream. And she was super- And I super... didn't kill it. I didn't kill it. <laughs> Wombat killed it. I did not. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> but but um, we just felt really bad for her because she's the only one that doesn't have a dodo now. So we decided to mate two of our dodos. So we're going to get Clown, who's our only male right now. And we're going to get him to do stuff uh with sky <laughs> so yeah yep. so we're gonna see how this goes so um you're gonna have to walk me through this because i honestly haven't mated anything like i don't okay. know how this works um, so so you walk up to one mm -hmm. and you enable wandering and then you enable wandering on the other one and then you just whistle you so okay. that makes them stay in place and you should be able to see a um a mating progress bar on one of them uh yes yes okay 12, so i just have 13 percent yeah, I have to sit here and continually hit you until they drop an egg. <laughs> you look so ridiculous doing that. <laughs> no, I look cool. No, you look weird. You look super weird doing that, actually. You're weird. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> uh, it's actually extremely exhausting to do this. Yeah, so that's why. That's exactly why, guys, that I'm letting uh, Wombat do this. So I'm just going to watch, yep. watch while uh, they mate. Uh, like watch a while creepy... they wait. Watch while they mate like a creepy weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, so yep. we'll bring you guys back once this is done. Okay, she's about to lay an egg. And she laid an egg. Okay, you she can stop whistling. Cool, cool. I'll disable wandering and disable wandering. And there should be a, an egg on the ground over there. Hold on. Where's the egg? It should be this glowing little egg right here. So, okay. now... Normally, we would be in zero position to make this happen mm -hmm. because we don't have refrigerators or, elect or um, air conditioners or electricity or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But lucky us, Advanced Draft has got you covered. <laughs> so let's there's go some kind of incubation the... thing that you have. There is, if I can find it. Oh, egg incubator, and we have the stuff to make one. Perfect. Nice. So what do you need? You need wood, <laughs> wood, thatch, and fiber. That's it. That's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so um, where do you want to put it? Let's just put it in here, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see what this thing looks like. I'm pretty excited. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a little nest. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, and you, do you put the egg in it? No, you I... don't put the egg in it. Hold on. Oh, okay, you have to put spark powder in it. Oh, okay, hold on. I'll go get some. Know. Okay, go get us some spark powder. Mm hmm. And then we can set the egg down. Okay, so okay. it's on now. So do it's we on. just so now I'm assuming we just put the little egg in it. Okay. Just like um make sure not to eat it. Oh just like it's that. it's really small. Well but I think you should sit on it. You know like mother chickens sit on their I eggs. am not gonna sit on that egg. I think you should sit on it. Okay, I'm so excited about this. This is literally the first thing that I've ever like mated and like I, I this is so so cool. It's okay. I mean, it's not really that cool. <laughs> I feel like a parent, you know? <laughs> Are you super duper excited? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, What's I'm up? so excited. I nearly killed myself. I <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like super excited. And I was just like, the world jumped... is wrong with you, Pete. I jumped off a cliff. So, Goofball. yeah, that was a thing. I'm going to destroy you. Don't say creepy things. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> uh, okay, be, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. It's gonna hatch. Uh, what? Is it really about to hatch? <laughs> yeah, it hatched. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. So quick. Okay, claim imprint, it. Claim. Imprint. There you go. There you imprint, go. Um, uh, I'm gonna okay. put berries okay. on it super quick. Okay. Okay. okay well, we're no, good. No, I've we're got good. some. I've got some. Okay. Okay. 
I put berries on it. It's all good. <gasps> Wombat, we're going to be parents. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> so going to be exciting. a parent. That, no, you, that's your cross to bear, not mine. <laughs> Look at the baby dodo. I wonder dodo. if you can see the baby food. Um. Oh, no. It, it, ran, it ate all yeah, the berries. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, they eat super quick. I wonder if he'll eat. Hold on. I want to see if he eats baby food. Oh, it is eating the baby food. Yeah, it totally eats baby food. Hold on. What does this say? Will slightly heal your creature. I feel like we're wasting the baby food, though, because it seems okay. to prefer okay. the berries. Look at him going through the berries. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> berries are going to be a thing. Um, go downstairs, get more berries off the beaver. I really want to get, like, a super high-level male and mate yeah. it with your one. Yeah. That That's would be gonna baller. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. And you get the imprinting on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be super cool it's so cute though i wonder is this like the regular size like is this a i was just thinking yeah like the baby is like a normal size dodo yeah i think it, it literally is a normal dodo <laughs> mm -hmm. on it's so, blue as well it's the same color as the one that i really is it loved. a male or a female oh 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 it's a male <gasps> it's a male <laughs> yes we could do with the <laughs> with the high level male awesome nice 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 so how long do we have to wait until it feeds from the trough by itself? Uh, once it gets to 10%. Oh, that's it? Yeah, it's already 5.1. It's already halfway there. Oh, wow. Can I have my bear trap back, please? Mm hmm? Can I have my bear trap back, please? We both know what you're going to do with it. Please. Aw, you sounded so cute there. Fine, you can have that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you evil person. I know what you're going to do with that. <laughs> Thank you. Juvenile butter teeth. That's so cute. Where did you come up with that? Woman, what are you done? No. I was crouched at everything. Why would you do yeah. this to me, Wombat? Uh -huh. <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> Just stop it. This looks really awkward. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you look really awkward. You look weird. Stop it. You're weird. <gasps> it grew. It got bigger, <laughs> like in front of my eyes. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> but I didn't know that they did that, though. I mean, obviously oh, yeah. they do that, but it's just like I didn't, I, I didn't think you'd be able to see it, you know? Yep. That is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so I brought it outside, so I kind of had a feeling that if we left it inside, it won't be able to get out, and then it'd be stuck inside forever, so, That's yeah. a good call. That's mm -hmm. a good call. Yeah. It's almost like you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. So this is actually how far we've gotten with our, our dodo here. So at the moment, he is actually at the juvenile stage. And what this means is that it's actually able to eat from the trough by itself. So we've actually placed one down here. We've stuffed it full of berries. And then it's just going to keep eating by itself. So it's slowly getting matured. We kind of decided not to bother too much with the imprinting for this one, just because it's not super, super high level. And I feel like this male is going to end up being a good one for us to breed with. So let me just show you some of the stats. So at the moment, we've got 6,545 health. We've got 960 stamina. We've got 600 weight. We've got almost 500 melee, 150 movement speed, and 0% imprinting. <laughs> yeah, and it was one by that came up with the name, Juvenile Butter Teeth. I have no idea how or where or what the thought process was in that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he did it. So yeah, so I'm super excited. I'll bring you guys back when he's fully grown, and then we'll take her out for a little bit of a spin and see if we can kill some stuff with it. Now guys, while our little adolescent butter teeth <laughs> is growing up, I thought I'll bring you back up to speed on what's been happening around the base because a lot of stuff has kind of gone on and I'm trying to remember what kind of stuff have I not filled you in on. <laughs> I guess the most important obvious thing is the fact that I have a new pteranodon guys. I mean look at this pteranodon, it is amazing. Now if you guys remember <laughs> from Wombat's episode, what actually happened was that we were trying to tame an alpha dillo and wombat actually ended up killing three of our pteranodons yep you heard that right guys it was actually three yes three <laughs> so we had an original sauron that we tamed at back on herbivore island the one that was really really cool we tamed it with fish meat that one died um rocky bunny 
the one that we left for Tibani and Rocky died. Um, and then Rocky's own Tyrandon died as well. So all in the efforts to basically tame an Alpha Dillo. So yeah, that was the thing that happened. So because of that, I kind of felt super bad. The fact that we only had one Tyrannodon left and that was Galadriel. So I actually flew around for a little bit, tried to see if there was anything else that I could tame, any kind of high levels. And I actually happened to cross a level 520 Tyrannodon. And I actually managed to tame it up. It was actually super far from base. It was super dangerous. There was like tribesmen literally around the corner from where I was taming it. But miraculously nothing happened like literally nothing happened i was able to kibble tame it um and it, we got like pretty much like a hundred percent taming effectiveness and we have now sauron the second absolutely majestic <laughs> now i really wanted to show you the starting stats but i have actually pumped a lot of levels in it so this is not really going to be a reflective of what it tamed out at but it is super awesome. I mean, look at it. Doesn't it look amazing? It looks like it should be wreathed in fire. <laughs> so I actually think the Sauron is the perfect name for it. Now, apart from that, if I bring you guys down here, you'll notice that there's a bunch of new dinos. <laughs> there's actually so many here right now. It's crazy. So Wombat was the guy that I tamed in my last episode, but then after Wombat, we actually had tamed a Dodi. If I can just squeeze past everyone here. And we called it Little Richard. <laughs> so yeah, Little Richard was actually amazing. So we tamed this guy um, in Wombat's episode when we were kind of failing at everything and killing all the Trandons and stuff. So this has been super helpful to gather stone. We have a little Jerboa, guys. How cute. I can't even, like, I don't even have the words to describe how cute this thing is, guys. I mean, just look at it. It's adorable. And the best part of this is that you can ride them. <laughs> you can literally ride them around. And they're actually not bad. The only thing is, like, they can jump really high and stuff, but they don't have a lot of health and stuff, you know? So they're not really the best dinos to take around on. And really, I the only reason I tamed this is just because Jerboas are literally my favorite creature in Ark, and I love them so much. And the idea of like a giant Jerboa was just absolutely irresistible to me. <laughs> so I actually found this little guy on Herbivore Island, and they're super like scared. So the minute you go near them, they actually start running away. But luckily, it kind of got stuck on some rocks, and then I discovered that if you knock them out and feed them vegetables, they actually tame up quite fast. And we actually managed to get it all the way over here without dying. So. I'm actually really afraid to take this guy out. Wait a minute, are you like a male or a female? You're, okay, you're a male. <laughs> I, I didn't even know, just because I've been keeping this guy safe here, I didn't really want anyone to touch it because it's just, it's so cute and you're so precious to me. I just don't want you to die. <laughs> so then what else happened? So this is T-Bunny's Dimorphodon absolutely amazing like i we were so jealous when we saw this i mean guys look at the turning radius on this isn't this amazing it's like a tapihara or something you know and look how epic we look we desperately want a dimorphodon like me and wombat did see one but we kind of lost it in the trees and we weren't able to tame it these guys are actually not too bad to tame provided that you can actually bowl them because once you bowl them they're actually pretty easy to tame and they tame up with prime meat or meat or whatever it is that you have on hand and yeah so we definitely need to get another prime dimorphodon and then we have stupid yes stupid our alpha dillo <laughs> so it's because of a stupid alpha dillo that we lost all of our trandons but we were able to tame this guy for wombat because he just really really wanted an alpha dillo and these guys are so crazy i mean look at this guys you can like shoot weird stuff from their mouths like did you see that what even is that <laughs> It looks epic, but uh, we haven't really figured out what that green attack exactly is, but they look pretty awesome. And they're actually a lot bigger than the regular Dillos. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what else has been going on. So we've got Rocky passed out over here with Mr. Tickles, Mr. Mi no, Mrs. Pickles. <laughs> wow, I totally butchered that name. <laughs> And T-Bunny's passed out upstairs because she was helping Wombat with the building. And guys, I still can't really get over how amazing this looks. Like, I just, 
Honestly, I just thought that Wombat, all he was good for was making these huge, huge overcompensating giant boxes. <laughs> but like, I'm really, really impressed that he's managed to make something as beautiful as this, you know, and something as unique as this. Welcome back, everyone. And here we have Butterteeth, our fully grown male prime dodo that we bred up for Tea Bunny. And she actually really, really did love it. So that was awesome. And he's just super majestic, super blue, the same lovely colors as Sky, the mom actually, which I think is really, really awesome. So let's go and see if we can kill some stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how fast this is in the water. I cannot even get over that. Okay, what do you want? What do you want, Compi? You are going down. <laughs> it's a shame that they can't harvest meat, but you know what? That's totally okay. What level is this turtle? 140? Do you think we can take it on? I think we can. So let's just see if we can take this on. Oh, why is it not? At oh, it's an adolescent. That's why it's not attacking back. <laughs> That's no fun. I feel like I'm just killing a baby. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, so let's just see how long it takes to take this turtle down. It's almost dead. I'm biting it in the butt. I feel terrible because it's a teen teenager. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome, you guys. So what level is this beaver? What level are you? 160 beaver? Why not? Let's take this beaver on. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Oh, it's getting super bloody. Beaver, you're going down. <laughs> Come back here. Stop stop running away. Awesome. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Butterteeth, you have definitely proven yourself in battle. <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you guys had fun today. This was kind of a random episode, <laughs> but I hope you guys had a good time and we definitely had tons of fun. And until next time, Admiral out!